Hi everyone, I just woke up and I woke to this unfortunate news, uh, but I heard rumours about this and it looks like it's true. So Aru Imaginary Fest is coming to an end this December. Are you serious? I have much I want to say about this, but let's first read the producer's letter regarding this end of service. And for those of you who don't know, To Aru Imaginary Fest is basically the gacha game of the Raildex franchise, the To Aru franchise. And it's gone on for like five years now. We recently had the five year anniversary. And funny enough, this is the 20th anniversary of the entire franchise. And yet, they have pulled the plug. I don't know if it's Square Enix that have decided this or the devs. Well, I'm assuming it's Square Enix because they developed the game. But I don't know who came to this decision. But honestly, part of me saw it coming. Anyway, let's, let's go through this. And oh boy, I have much I want to say about this. Thank you very much for playing a certain magical index imaginary fest. Today, we have an important announcement to make to you all. Well, you do, don't you? By the way, this is translated from Japanese from Google Translate, so it's not going to be the best, but it will do. We have decided to end service for a certain magical index imaginary fest on Monday, December 2nd, 2024. We apologize for announcing it in this way, even though everyone celebrated our fifth anniversary just the other day. Yeah, we did. And got to admit, the fifth anniversary was disappointing. For like the fifth anniversary of this game, I was expecting a lot more. But considering they have decided to make the decision to end service to the game, they probably didn't have a huge amount of assets and resources or budget, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, to make some cool stuff like a new anime opening like they did for the, was it the second or third anniversary? That was sick. Instead, we got like a, a duo battle card where you get two characters in one, but... Again, it's just, it's just reusing assets. So I think the writing was on the wall because I think everyone who watched the fifth anniversary were disappointed. We only got like a handful of battle characters too. We got way more in the past for like the previous anniversary. So should have saw it coming. We have had the opportunity to use the many fan fascinating worlds and characters and have received warm welcome and cooperation from not only our players, but everyone involved. We are keenly aware that the fact that we have to end operations after just over five years is due entirely to my own lack of ability. That's pretty harsh. <laughs> but honest, I mean, you got to respect the Japanese. At least they are honest people. I deeply apologize for not being able to meet everyone's expectations. Although it ended up this way, we are honored and happy we were able to deliver everyone at least some of the game's original characters and story, as well as lines that portray aspects of the characters that are unique to this game. I would like to explain a little bit about the future. First of all, please note that a period for using items such as gacha tickets will end when maintenance begins at one o'clock scheduled on December 2nd, 2024. When the service ends and that character exchange ticket that come as a bonus with products sold in the past will also expire earlier than the expiration date currently stated in the app. Next, regarding the main story, we were hoping to continue the storyline that was recreating the original novel. Yes, because they got up to World War Three arc pretty much, so they almost finished OT. Uh, I don't think they got up to Railgun T for the Railgun story. Well, I, I was always opposed to them adding the Railgun story anyway, because I was like, well, you're, you're promoting it as Index Imaginary Fest, and yet you're, you're covering the Railgun story. You might as well just call it... I mean, people do call it Toaru Imaginary Fest, but it's literally got Index in the game's name. It's not just Index, then, is it? <laughs> Matter of fact, isn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, which corresponds to Volume 22 of the original novel and the final 26th episode of the TV anime. A certain magical index free before service ends. Yeah, it looks like they're not gonna be doing NT in the game, are they? <laughs> Even though they added a shit ton of NT characters, maybe hoping that they would do it. But then they'd have to like make new cutscenes and shit for it, because obviously there's no NT anime. Uh <laughs> regarding future new characters, we will release the battle characters Accelerator and Kamijo Toma, double character, and Kihara Noken in October and November, respectively. These characters will also be available as login bonuses. 
to be fair, got to give credit to the devs for doing this. They don't they didn't have to release these characters for free, but that was pretty sick. It's good that they're releasing Noken. I, I'm 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 really excited to see uh, what Noken looks like as a battle character because he's a dog. And that, that's kind of funny. Uh, as for other events in October and November, we will be re-releasing a full voice event based on the original novel, A Certain Magical Index Imaginary Fest, which is set after the aforementioned Russia arc. Okay, so, so this is the game's uh, non-canon story, which they was an, yeah, basically an original story for the game that was released. And her, this will be an opportunity for players to experience the world of the game after the main story. Also, although it'll be difficult to hold new event reward characters or link gachas, we will also hold a new story raid event and a scenario event, one each before the service ends. My god, this statement's long. <laughs> we will also be preparing various other login bonuses, very special events to show our appreciation for your support, blah blah blah. In addition, December 2nd, we plan to release an offline version of the game. Hey, so you'll still be able to play the game. That's good, because I was worried that, oh, you're just going to not be able to play the game. And this game's got still a core fan base that still plays a lot of it to this day. I don't play it at all, really, unless a cool new character comes out. I played it a bit when Mavis came out. I wanted him for a long time, so I played the game for a bit, got him, and had the Alex is on assist. Uh, but the game just became too much of a grind for me. It just became really repetitive. Uh, but credit for, for those who stay up to the meta, because that... I could not do that. Honestly, it's, I did it for a bit, but it's so hard to stay like relevant with the meta, getting the strongest characters and also leveling up your current characters. It just became so much of a grind. It was like, oh my God, it's just so tedious. Although the functions such as collaboration, related data, voice and song data, battle parts will be lost. Oh, that's a shame. What do you mean voice and song data? Like all of the voices for like the characters? Fuck that, man. I want to have the voice lines for like all the New Testament characters that haven't been voiced yet. Come on, is that is that what that means? Nah, 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 nah. That doesn't that doesn't bad well me. That's not cool. We hope to be able to keep some of the history of players play so far. We will be planning to implement a function to view unlock scenarios and acquired illustrations, as well as an offline version of the mini game Bakuso Hungry Index. Oh yeah, Bakuso Hungry Index. Oh. I could not care less about that. <laughs> As mentioned above, the offline version will reflect your play history up to that point. So although there's only a short time left, we hope you will enjoy it until service ends. We are also working out the details, but we are preparing to sell something like a commemorative book that contains some of the illustrations so far. Finally, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to everyone who has been involved with a certain magical index imaginary fest and to all the players who have played it even though it has only been a little over five years it is only thanks to you that we have been able to continue this far we will continue to operate the game with gratitude to everyone who loves Toaru and everyone who has played the game hiroki yamada producer of square enix's imaginary fest okay and then we got some other stuff on twitter so we're getting a new live stream coming up, which uh, they'll probably run down this news again and also show us the Termet Accelerator battle card and Kihara and Okans. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, and then we got a uh, artwork of, yeah, the game's original characters as well as Terma, Misuka and Index. And that's pretty much it. Now, what do I have to say about this? Well, this is the franchise's 20th anniversary and we were promised we would get announcements throughout the year okay we've got stuff like genesis testament 10 11 some of the you know manga and item volumes and that and we've got a new art book coming out uh from for, from Haimura. and we got this railgun concert in november for those of you who live in japan i guess that's cool but that's pretty much it we've had literally nothing and what happens next you have uh imaginary fest the gacha game, which is supposedly funding NT anime. Oh yeah, we also had the fucking pachinko machine, which has better animation than Index 3. We, we got that, but it also, at the cost of having better animation than Index 3, it can also give you epilepsy from the flashing lights. That's the major downside of that. Uh, but aside from that, we've had nothing. And supposedly, if we're having a new anime in the work, whether that's Index New Testament or Astral Body anime or Dark Matter anime, they decide to pull the plug 
for the gacha game. And you'd think if they had that lined up, then they'd say, okay, we won't, we won't pull the plug yet, even if this game is doing poorly, because we've got that coming out. And surely, then, once that anime was announced, the player base would go up for this game again. But no. So I am absolutely gobsmacked at this. Not that I thought an anime was going to come out. I hope so. But if there is an anime coming out, this is the most like terrible decision they could have made. But how do we get even get to this point? Why is the Magic Fest done so badly? Honestly, maybe it's because they're... The reskins, like who gets excited for reskin characters apart from like the hardcore fans of that particular character? I mean, come on, are they really going to do Misaka reskins forever and ever and ever and ever? I get that she's the most popular character. I'm using her as the example because she is the most prominent character that most people want to play this game for. That's why I use her as the example, not because I hate her or anything. But I'm saying that, okay, you can only get a certain amount of um, player base from just doing Misaka reskins where it becomes, oh, okay, fun. Because you're pretty much releasing the exact same character with a slightly different costume and a slightly different special. I mean, they tried doing collaborations with Konosuba and we had a Nia Automata one because they're from Square Enix. Why didn't we get a Final Fantasy collaboration? I mean, I, did, I personally don't like the collaboration events, but I understand that, oh yeah, they might be important uh, <laughs> for getting new, new, new fans into the game. But maybe not because only properly like index fans would play the game. I was, you know, part of the camp where I just want to see characters from the novel be introduced, but I understand that introducing characters from the novels ha like has a limited audience compared to more mainstream characters, like if they did a um, ReZero collaboration or something, or the collaborations they've done in the past. I understand that, but that's what I personally want to see. They try to appease both like camps. They try to add new, not like New Testament characters in, which is awesome to see them be voiced and be able to play as, play as them if you pull them but i understand not everyone wants to see that and it's not the best strategy to keep the game alive even though they did limit it like they didn't release as many light level characters as i'd want them to like say what you want about gacha games to our imaginary fest was all right uh, <laughs> i know it's gacha and you know you can say what you want about gacha games as a premise whether they're gambling or not but compared to like some other gacha games Imaginary Fest was quite forgiving for like people who don't want to pay to win. The odds for pulling characters was pretty generous compared to its competitors. So I do respect the game for that. And I do feel a bit sorry for the fans who still play the game. Even though we are getting an offline version, which is good. I'm glad, I'm glad the devs are doing that. Because it's, otherwise we'd be turning into the Index MMO where you can't play that game at all. <laughs> it's pretty much a lost game. It's lost to the ends of time unless you somehow mod it i guess and create an, your own server for it I, I don't know if that's even possible but i'm just theorizing i mean this year we are meant to be having a well we always do have a dengeki fest where historically that's where we do get an anime be announced you know that's where the toaro project was announced where we got index free and everything and supposedly we should be having one this year in fact it should be coming soon in like fall because that's when it usually happens and yet, I've not heard any news about it. And if it is coming soon, <laughs> they clearly they're not doing a NT anime or anything like that. Because look, look at this. They've cancelled it. So this has been an absolute disaster. The 20th anniversary so far has been a disaster. And if we don't get anything substantial by the end of the year, I'm doing another rant video. I can guarantee that. And I'm going ham on Kadokawa and JC staff because they need to do better. This is not good enough. The 20th anniversary. You know, like pe people uh, made fun of Fate's 20th anniversary for when they did the English official port of Fate Stay Night on Steam. And the, the game was kind of buggy and everything, but hell, I take that over what we got. I take that over what we got. We got nothing. But yeah, that's, that's all I can think of right now. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, do you think an anime is going to happen this year? Honestly, it's not looking good, guys. I have tried to make not remain an optimist so far, but this is a disaster. It is. Where do we go from here? At least, to be fair, we always have the light novels. The light novels will always be with us. So if you're an anime only hoping we'll get an anime this year, pfft, just start the novels. Just start it. And I, I, I want to be positive. I, I don't want to be like negative about this shit, but.
I got no choice. Anyway, check out my other videos. Subscribe for more index from Elgon News. Yep, I'll I'll post regular news updates still if we do get anything. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.